good morning everyone welcome back to vlogmas so i have been so tired for the past week to be quite honest i just got off my monthly so y'all already know how that go like just very tired i feel like i have lost the plot this week last week i literally did absolutely nothing I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I tried to vlog and I just could not vlog. I tried to just get out of bed. I tried to do everything I could do and I could not do it. I was tired, my monthly. And then on top of that, I think I was just like depressed. All of that goes to show like my skin is like breaking out. I don't have no nails on. My legs are hairy. I don't have my hair on. Like I just kind of lost myself for the last week. <laughs> Throughout all of that, I still managed to like handle business. Like I still had to go on all of my calls. I still had to do what I do. So that was good. But other than that, like it was really hard to like just get out of bed and vlog. I didn't even go to the gym or go to Pilates. Mind you, I made a commitment to go to Pilates. Like you, you guys know this. I made a commitment and I could not even do it. Like it was so hard. It doesn't help the fact that the weather is disgusting. Like it is so dark and it is rainy today. I usually like this weather, but not when I'm depressed. I really don't like being depressed. Like that is not my thing. I don't need, I barely even come on here with my bonnet, but you know, I don't have no wig on right now. So it's just gonna have to do. But today I'm going to really get my shit together. Okay, I'm gonna do my nails, shave my legs, change my sheets. I have to change my sheets because literally my sheets are like, done like i have to throw them out because my bonnet i have a black bonnet the dye got all over my pillowcases and everything it is so bad like let me show y'all look at this it's like crazy it even got on this a little bit which is my one of my favorite uh bed sheets but this is insane all of this ink is crazy my skin is also really breaking out like the eczema is just eczema in like do y'all see this dark spot right here? That is from like a patch of dry skin being there and me scratching it. Like this is just out of control. I got like mad skincare on my bathroom sink that I wanna like put away. Oh, it's just so much stuff to do. I just feel so overwhelmed and just like, you know, I'm just, uh, I'm just overwhelmed. Being a big boss comes with a lot of baggage. Not a big boss. <laughs> It comes with a lot of baggage though, like just, you know, having to juggle and level everything. I just needed a break, like for real. But I'm back. You know, me not having no nails and no hair already makes me depressed. <laughs> so we're not about to do that today. Before I do anything, I'm gonna get in the shower first and put on some fresh, clean pajamas. I just put this on yesterday, but this is one of the pajamas that like I wear when I'm like, not trying to be cute yeah do y'all have those pajamas it's one of those ones that i just don't want so i want to put on some cute ones i like to wear pants around the house i don't like wearing shorts i only wear shorts to bed so i might put these ones on these cheetah ones i haven't really worn my skims ones like that but i think i'm gonna do that when i feel a lot better i like to wear my new pajamas when i'm in the best the best mood so like i just have a good day um even though if i put those on those would probably make my day better but I'm gonna just keep it simple today. It's, you know, a Sunday and I'm not like really doing anything. You guys, it's 3.30 right now. I just got out of bed. I haven't ate for today. So I'm gonna, after I change my sheets, I'm gonna just sit down and eat for a second and then do the rest of everything that I need to do. <sighs> this day is gonna be annoying, but I know I'm gonna feel better at the end. I've been using this shea butter that has been making me actually feel really nourished and moisturized lately. And I absolutely love it. It like makes my skin feel so warm and soft. Shea butter is like that girl. So I'm using this, it's by Palmer's. Um, I was supposed to shave my legs in the shower, but honestly, I got other things that I could be doing. Like I could do that another day. I barely wear um, my legs out during the winter. So I'm probably not gonna do it until I have to. I'm gonna use my energy on other things today. I'm not gonna use my energy on that. Honestly, you guys, I just been in the house playing Sims. 
sleeping and eating. And all I do is upload on YouTube and like go right back to my business, which is horrible. Like it's been really bad. All right, so this is my pajamas for today. I'm trying to figure out if I want to put on my wig. Honestly, I would just be putting it on for y'all. And I really don't feel like it, but I might. Cause I feel like I need to like lift myself up, you know? Sometimes just being in my bonnet all day really makes me depressed. If I don't have on my hair or like do my hair, no, it's not even if, if I don't have on my hair. It's if I don't do my hair, like if my hair is a mess for like more than a week, oh my God, the depression, it kicks all the way in, okay? I don't know what it is, but maybe that's why my skin is wilding right now. Cause y'all know, when you get your hair done, your skin clears up. <laughs> Maybe that's why my skin is bugging. All of that, I'm gonna do some skincare and a few. I'm gonna do a mask. I'm gonna show you guys my favorite mask that I love to do. All right, so y'all see all this skincare right here? I'm gonna be cleaning this skincare up. First things first, I have to wash my face. Let's see what soap I'm gonna use today. So I think I'm gonna use this actually. I have some stuff in here, but I think I'm gonna use the Tasha Rice wash i actually need to exfoliate so the rice wash is an exfoliator but the laura mercier um this is also an exfoliator i love laura mercier skincare oh my gosh you guys this is my favorite cleanser the laura mercier balancing foaming cleanser my favorite cleanser one of my favorites this tatcha is always going to be my favorite this is more of like it's a soft cream cleanser so i might do this one only because my skin is really sensitive right now because of the eczema. You know, it's like a lot of dry patches that I've been like going like this and this. So it's a little on the like inflamed side a little bit. So I'm going to like be a little bit more on the gentle side, you know. All right. So I'm going to wet my face. I really do need to get like different bonnets. Because the black bonnets are making my pillowcases black. This is not the first time it's happened. But this is the, mo the time that it's happened the worst. Like any other time I'm able to like wash it out. You know, sometimes it'll come out a little bit. Sometimes it won't. But this time it's like bad. Like it's all over the place. I gotta get lighter colored bonnets. Okay, so I'm massaging the soap into my face. I have this vanity planet machine that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use the really soft bristle. It's like the silicone one. Um, Cause you know, I wanna be really gentle with my skin. I don't wanna irritate my skin. It's already irritated enough. Like, y'all see the redness? Y'all see that? It's so irritated. It's so dry. It's not funny how dry it is. Like, there's no way that this is real. <laughs> I only needed a little bit of scrub because I could already feel my face tingling so I'm not trying to do too much so I'm gonna wash this off and then come back so my face is washed everyone knows me for the trick of drying my face with a paper towel I have been doing this for years and so many people have told me that their skin transformed after I told them to do that and it's so funny because they actually sell napkins now specifically for your skin which i think is genius um so that's good my face is dry and now i'm about to get into the face mask the face mask that i use is nivea cream you guys know me for using this as a lotion a face moisturizer but i also use it as a face mask i have no clue what's in here that makes this so amazing but it works so well what i do is i take this little spatula and i honestly just go in take some on my spatula and honestly i just paint it on like a face mask so I do this all over and I literally like just lather it up. It reminds me so much of cream cheese. I don't know why, but it does. I just lather it on. I know this might seem crazy, but that's how dry my skin is that I can use lotion as a face mask. If you are acne prone, I would not recommend this because this has a lot of oils and hydration in it. And 
oil speed pimples and it makes them grow larger so if i was you and i like was it was easier for me to get pimples i would not use this i don't get pimples as much which i believe is due to me having really dry skin like any hydration my skin gets it literally sucks it right up um so i don't really get pimples that much and i feel like it's because of that and so i'm able to do this and my skin literally loves this like once i take this off and honestly i don't even have to take it off all i gotta do is rub it in once i rub it in like you guys will see throughout the day it will start to fade because my skin is going to be like drinking it up like i don't even have to like do too much and you know wipe it off rub it in i just gotta rub it in a little bit because it disappears because my skin loves it once i like rub this in my skin is literally like back to normal it is actually really crazy and if it's not back to normal that day it will be back to normal the next day because obviously my skin is hydrated for the rest of the night then you go to sleep and now you wake up and your skin is totally different I don't know how that always works like you could go to sleep and your skin will be one way and wake up and your skin will be another but that's what happens and so this is my favorite face mask as of right now for the winter months I also really like the Tasha Dewey skin mask skincare face mask um, it's part of this collection the purple and I don't think I have any right now I think I had used it all when I went to LA other than this Tatcha is my go-to and those are the only two face masks that I use and that really work for me. This is what the face mask looks like. Um, I'm also going to put some on my hands and I might put on my wig because I feel like I look a little crazy. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to let this face mask sit until I feel like my skin is moisturized or maybe like two hours or so. Um, and you guys will see how the process goes. I'm about to change my sheets to these brown ones and sadly throw these ones out these ones were actually really expensive they were by ralph lauren and it's sad that they gotta go but then now i know better i cannot wear black bonnets so i'm gonna change my sheets wish me luck because honestly putting the duvet on is not easy like <laughs> I, I feel like the duvet be taking over me like I'm just like so small compared to it I feel like it like literally is more weight than me so let's do it I'm still in the middle of making my bed but the sheets that I just took off, the gray. So I just looked up the um the brand, right? Please tell me why these sheets are three hundred dollars. I got them from TJ Maxx. They was probably about like fifty, but they're originally like around three hundred dollars and up. So I'm definitely not throwing these out at all like this thing turned purple a little bit because of the bonnet hopefully i could get it out you guys see it it's like a little purple hopefully i could get it out but i will not be throwing these sheets out 300 dollars is crazy so i didn't finish putting my pillows on but i am finished making my bed thank god you see how my skin is like just drinking it up loves it um so i'm gonna eat and then i'm gonna finish cleaning you guys i got you ever have like a corner in your room that is just like a mess i have that i need to like do this and then i have like all of my stuff here oh my gosh i need to really get this together hey guys so still doing my face mask while i also clean my closet a little bit i'm not really going too far because i still have you guys i'm always cleaning my closet like i have so much clothes that like everything needs to be cleaned all the time but anyways i wanted to say something real quick i was just sitting here and i'm just texting on my phone you know and i'm just realizing that you know with me being so depressed all week it's been about a week or two that I've been in the bed. I just noticed that 
this is the first time that I'm doing really, really, really okay with Vlogmas, right? This is the first time I feel super successful. I'm on point. I'm punctual with it. I got it going. And the devil just tried to throw me off my game from succeeding at something that I've been trying to do for years. And that was the part of the depression and keeping me in the bed all week. And it came through other things which put me in a depressive state like you know just like drama on the back end just family and business stuff it came through that and you know it made me just sit back and just like be a little depressed and the devil is after me and he's trying to throw me off of my game and he's trying to get me to not succeed at my mission right now and i know vlogmas is just like oh yeah like just post on YouTube, but it's really not as easy as people think it is. Posting every single day on YouTube, editing, all of that stuff is not easy. That's one. And it's I don't even think it's really about all of that. I think it's just a mission in general, you know? Like think about it. If you're if you have a mission that you are trying to complete in your mind and in your soul and you are after it, no matter what that mission is. You are going to have hurdles. I feel like as of right now for the entire month of December, my entire mission has been dedicated to Vlogmas. Like that was something in my heart and my soul. I, I am so invested in it this year. I have never been this invested before. And I'm noticing that the devil wants me to fail like I feel like I have done before. He wants to throw me off my game. And that's why I went into a depressive state last week because... I was not supposed to film that week because this week was supposed to be, you know, I was supposed to mess up. But guess what? I am not messing up. I'm not quitting. I'm not doing it. I'm going to fight against it because every mission that you go on is going to have hurdles. And you're going to go into bumpy roads and you're going to like find things that, you know, and you're going to have the devil fighting against you. And he's going to use other people, other things, other tactics that you would, is you're going to be blindsided. You're going to be like, whoa, like. What the hell just happened? Like I didn't even see that coming. That's how the devil comes. He doesn't he doesn't come as the devil. He comes as he comes through people that you love. He comes through things that you love, like my business, my family. He comes through all of those things that are near and dear to your heart so that when it hits you, it hits you. And so the devil is not going to win. He will never win with me. Okay? I don't know how many times he's going to try to put up this fight because it's not gonna work like what are you not getting you can't get rid of me bitch. just like nikki said so i'm gonna fight this depression like amen lord thank you so much for giving me the power and the strength to fight battles every single day that people probably can't even imagine or to fight battles that i probably don't even know that i'm fighting we're all fighting battles that we don't even know that we're fighting and we're being strong in like let's not even count the battles that we're like oh man i should have did this different and it feels like an l let's talk about the battles that we don't even know we fighting against and we actually winning and it don't go on record because guess what we don't feel it my phone is ringing why every time i get to talk about stuff like this my phone rings the devil the devil wants i'm not answering the devil wants the devil want to distract me <laughs> nah but I'll, I'll call that person back later but um god is by my side he lifted me up today aim fucking men i have a connection with the man above he looks over me he helps me he watches me he puts strength in me when i need it the most and sometimes i don't even know that he's putting that strength in me i give all my thanks and my glory to him like this is crazy so i just had that revelation like wow the devil you are a crafty one but you're not craftier than me the devil works hard but Aaliyah J works harder okay <laughs> period with my mask on um so I'm gonna finish cleaning I really need it to be cleaning to be in my thoughts sometimes I don't like cleaning because I really get in my thoughts like I'd rather hire a cleaner while like they clean my house and I'm like handling my business on the side but like today i was just like no i gotta clean and i gotta get my shit together and maybe i needed just that because when i clean i think so hard that sometimes 
I get really stressed out and then it's hard for me to finish. Does anyone else get like that? Like I get like that, like cleaning, like I just think of when I'm cleaning. Don't let there be music on and the music is touching my soul. Oh, it's over. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I needed that today. I needed to be exactly where I am right now for me to understand that I'm still on my journey. I'm still on the ride. I'm still on the roller coaster. It's not linear. And my story is still being written. That's where we at with it. Period. I'm finally finished cleaning my bathroom. Look how amazing my sink looks. It was looking crazy before you guys like it looked insane i didn't get to do my nails yet but i was cleaning everything like when i say cleaned everything i changed my sheets um i washed my rugs in my bedroom so these rugs i washed and dried i changed these sheets and put another rug on this side i even got this area together i i gotta unpackage these but like I don't know where to put it because I don't, like, don't want it. So maybe I'll put it in the basket that is going to go to charity or something. I lit a candle and I also lit a candle in here. And I also put the plugins that I got from, what is it? Bath and Body Works? Yeah, I, is it Bath and Body Works? Bed, bath, bath and Body Works. I always say Bed, Bath and Beyond or Bath and Body Works. Like, I always get them mixed up. I still have my face mask on. So that was like a few hours. So it's nine. I started cleaning and everything at like... Three. Three is when I got in the shower. I also put a lot of my clothes away. I realized that I actually wanted to make this section in my closet like all coats and then I have robes in the back. And then I also made this section the section of clothes that I want to wear soon. So I have like some outfits like this is a full outfit that I want to wear soon. This is a dress that I want to wear soon. Um, these are pants that I want to wear. These are two outfits and this dress that I want to wear this dress this shirt this top and i have like a few things here that i just want to wear so i think i'm gonna make this section like new and upcoming for my closet basically so i did a thing in here okay i i put so much stuff in the laundry and um i was actually on the phone with my mom and she actually told me not to throw the sheets out because the white Ralph Lauren sheets, she told me not to throw them out because the stain could come out. Like, she has all the stuff. So, one of these days, she's going to come over here and show me, like, how to do it so that the stuff can come out. She said I just don't have the tools, like, the basic, the um, cleaning products that I really, really need. But, yeah, so look at the face mask. Remember I told you guys it's going to, like, absorb in my skin? Um, I don't know if you can see, but it's, like, my face is a little oily and it's kind of just, like, going away. So basically what I do now is I basically just take this and like rub it in. And honestly, my face feels totally different from what it felt like earlier. Like earlier my skin was hurting. It was, it hurt. It was hurting so bad and it was just like very scabby. And now it just feels like just soft and like a protective layer on it and just like hydrated. So... I basically just take like five minutes to rub this in. Honestly, like you see how white my face looks? I'm just gonna literally rub it in until it's not white anymore. And I also make sure I take it down my neck. I also gotta shave my mustache, y'all. Like I have so much hair on my face that I need to like take it off, but that's gonna be another day. So I'm just rubbing it in and you see my skin is finally going back to normal color and Remember that dark spot, red spot that was right here? It's still there because it might be a bruise because I was literally picking a scab. But like, it was hurting so bad. It doesn't hurt anymore. Over here was hurting so bad. Hair was so crusty. You guys probably couldn't see it on camera, but it was really, really bad. So, now my skin feels just like so hydrated and just soft and... Honestly, I don't have to do anything for the rest of the night. I do need to shave my mustache though, for sure. Like, I see it. So yeah, I'm about to chill for a second and then I'm gonna do my nails. I think I'm just gonna do some simple nails. I have some Christmas nails that I could put on, but honestly, like, as crazy as it sounds, I'm not in the Christmas spirit right now. So I almost feel like I don't wanna put on those nails. So I think I'm gonna just do like a simple French tip. Just press on. We'll see. The skin 
is skinning oh my gosh so now it's time to do my nails i feel like today was more of like a cleaning day rather than like getting my self together like self-care i mean i did some a face mask but so i think i'm gonna put these nails on these are the opi on point instant press mani i did not know that opi made press-ons and they are like a white silver they're very simple or i can put on French tips. I don't know which one I want to do yet, but I really want to do something really, really simple because I just had the almond nails, but this is my nail drawer. So I have all my almond nails in here. I have all types of nails in here. Um, and this is, you see that Christmas set right there, you guys? That's the nails I could put on, which it's like, it's very cute. But like, it's this one. It's very cute, but do I feel like wearing long nails like this? I feel like I should just say fuck it and put it on, right? I'm thinking, I'm really thinking. Cause now that I look at them, they are mad cute. <laughs> I think I might put them on. So it was these over these. Yeah, I think I might put them on. All of these nails were made by Nail Mail by Chloe. She is basically like my nail tech. She makes all of these press-ons. She also made all of these ones these this is the almond box and then this is the square and coffin box and i organized these in here i got this little nail box off of shein or something like that or implant i don't know one of those sites so yeah i think i might do these actually now that i'm looking back at them i think i might do them it's the cutest nails ever so yeah i don't think i'm gonna film the process because i'm honestly so tired y'all like it's 11 o'clock at night i'm tired and what else am i I'm tired, I'm hungry, and I want to just watch my show while I do my nails. I'm watching Zoe 101. Why have I not watched Zoe 101 when I was a kid? Like, what the hell was I doing? Honestly, like, I really missed out on that part. I watched every other show except for Zoe 101. I didn't watch Drake and Josh either, Drake and Josh. I did not like that show like that. But Zoe 101, why did I not watch that show? Like, where was I? And I, I just feel like it just, I don't know, I just didn't gravitate towards it when I was a kid. And... I'm kind of confused because now that I'm watching it, it was it feels like Laguna Beach mixed with a little bit of that so Raven. It feels like that. So I'm kind of like catching up on it, I guess. I don't know. It's kind of weird. What's up, guys? So I am finally finished my nails. I went for the long. Look how beautiful they are. These nails were made by Nail Mail by Chloe. So i am officially done for the day it is like 12 a.m and i am so tired but i'm really happy that like my skin is feeling hydrated right now and so in the next few days or maybe tomorrow or maybe the next day i'm definitely going to do like some self-care routine and show you guys how i do my derma planning which is taking off the hair on my face um and do all of that like self-care stuff you guys really watched me like get my life together today and just like you know get out of the depression so thank you guys so much for tuning in and if you're going through this you can do the same things that i'm doing that i did today and you know get yourself out of the bed get up get out of the funk life is too short it's no reason to just be sitting in the funk well you may have some valid reasons which is like depression anxiety etc yes but guess what Tomorrow, you can try again. And right now, you can try again. You have the opportunity to try again right now. So don't waste it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was probably a little short, but you know, the struggle. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My nails got me feeling myself back to normal. And I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you are subscribed and you're tuning into Vlogmas every single day except for the weekends, which is Saturday and Sunday. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. <laughs>